Uh, I'm back out here in the garage today. I'm going to tinker with these fenders some more. And I'm going to take a minute and show you what I got done so far. Alright. There they both are. This one's for the right hand side which has the pull start. That's why that notch is cut out. And this one fits the left hand side very nicely but I'm going to trim it out so that it is the same width as this one just for cosmetics and appearance's sake we got the front notched out so it'll fit down in the frame the way it needs to just because the way the frame is made and uh, once I get this one trimmed out I'll file down the edges start working on the mounting hardware get that done then I can go on and start working on the front ones but I want to do one thing at a time just in case I come across any unforeseen problems I don't want to have them both in the works to where I can't back up so that's where I'm at and I will show you a little bit more a little bit later after I get a few more things done all right all right stay tuned all right got them trimmed up and took my uh, file, filed them down, got the burrs off, smoothed out the edges. I know it's a little dark in here, but this is all we can do for right now. At any rate, this is where I was talking about the pull start rope. So I cut it out a little bit for that. So which I came over here and did this one the same way, just to give it symmetry. And that way they're actually the same width on the actual tire. Which doesn't look bad. It actually fits. This one needs adjusted a little bit. I kind of had them propped up there a little funny. But anyway, that's the basic idea. So how I'm going to mount them, I'm going to take some angle iron, which I've already cut a couple of pieces, and I'm going to weld it on. to the frame right there. Drill some holes in it. Um, and then bolt the fender to it in the front. Of course I have to drill holes in them also. And I know that you're thinking, well that's going to leave all this unsupported. Believe me, this plastic from these barrels is stiff. Let me give you an example. Here's a piece I just trimmed off. I mean, this stuff is resilient. It's, it bounces back. It's not going to go side to side. I don't know how well this is picking that up, but see the little bitty cracks? This is after I was stepping on it, trying to straighten it out some. Anyway, my point being, it's strong. It's if I get two bolts in it way over here this is going to be supported it's not going to flex that much and then for the rear support I've got some dowel rod steel dowel rod and some flat stock which I'll weld together drill my holes in it to bolt to the fender and leave a piece exposed so it'll look kind of like that. And then that piece will actually come over. I'll drill some holes in this bar right here wherever I want them. Put them through there. Slip the bar through. And put a cutter pin in it. Presto. Like magic, man. You know, if I ever want to take them off. And bolt the front, pull the cotter pin, it's off. No fuss, no muss. Anyway, that's the idea. But you know how ideas are. <laughs> Everybody's got their own. Um, and things change. So we're going to give that a go and see what happens. And I'll show you a little bit more as I get a little further. i got to drill that angle iron and, you know, do all that stuff. So I'll get back with you. All right, there they are. I got the angle brackets welded on and the hardware applied, so they bolted in. 
and uh, you can see it's it's pretty solid. I use Allen bolts. I just like them because they grip better. And uh, now you just got to do the back, support this about like that, something to that effect. Got them both the same. Here's the other side. It's secure in the same fashion. I know I should pull this thing out in the daylight so you can get a better view. However, I've got a problem. I've got this thing sitting out here. I just got this today. Dirt cheap. Uh, deal with them deals you can't pass. It's a 185 Kawasaki two wheel drive ATV. Uh, it needs massive work. Somebody st stole one of the tire rods off the front end of it. The tires are all flat. It's got a pull rope start. Part of that is missing. But, uh, good project. It'll keep me out of trouble for a while while I tinker with that. But as for right now, that's not my concern. It's in my way. I'm having to work. That's why I don't like to pull the card out so I can work on it easier. I could move this, but the flat tires make it kind of a bear, and the lack of steering doesn't help. So, anyway, where we're at now, then I'm going to take these little rascals. I've got them marked uh, for the holes, and what they'll do is they'll go set one of them down here. They will go on the underneath side of this, of course about there and then I'm going to weld a piece of this 3 8 inch rod to it and that will go over to the frame whereas I was saying I was going to drill a hole and go through there that's 3 8 inch rod I may just weld it to it as opposed to trying to drill through these which these I have these to where they're removable in case I ever have to do an engine swap to get that out of the way I don't know drilling the holes would be nice that way I can take them off if I ever want to and they won't be protruding out there I don't know I'll see after I get these assembled how it is exactly I want to go about it but anyway that's where we're at so that being the case Stay tuned, man. We're uh, we're getting there, little by little. I still have to do the whole front end yet, too. As you remember, we're uh, that was the whole trouble of go or the whole reasoning for going through all this trouble. I don't know if you can see. See all that mud. Well. The other day when I rode it, the day after it had rained, that mud didn't stop there. It was all over my face. And you can see it's just, it's everywhere. It's all over the place. Everywhere you look on this thing, there's mud from these front tires slinging it. So, so that's what the whole deal is. Alright, so I'm going to get back at it, and I'll show you a little bit more as I get a little further along. Alright guys, here's uh, what the little rear supports look like. Real simple, looks like a little flag. I've uh, already, I was getting carried away. I didn't forget about you, but I'll show you that one. You can see how it's bolted in there up underneath. And then what I had to do now, after I bolt the other one to the other side, is just pull this up and tack it in place. And voila, the uh, rear of these fender projects will be done. So, uh, 
That's what I'm going to do now. Let's bolt this one to here. And I'm not going to try to film. I just don't have room to set the camera up and film me doing that. Plus, you don't really want to watch me bolt that on there. Uh, it's not really impressive. But, uh, anyway, and it's getting dark. Light's getting funny. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Start fresh on the front end tomorrow. But, uh, should something come up between now and then, I'll let you know. Alright? Alright, thanks for watching. I'll be back. Alright guys, um, I got that finished. I welded up the, uh, rear end of things. So, here let's have a gander at that. There's one side, there's the other side. There's the whole thing collectively. Let you be the judge. Try and get in the middle of it so you can kind of get it from the center point of view. Uh, it'll work fine. It's not bad for free. I'm pleased it's good enough with that. And uh, yeah, they're solid. They might have a little flex, but that's okay. A little flex isn't bad. When I get in the daylight, I push this thing outside where I can only really see and I'll inspect those welds where I uh, threw them on there. This one over here particularly was shaded. I couldn't see what I was doing very well at all. Alright. And I have discovered that... Uh, I failed to get enough hardware. I had to buy some nuts and bolts for this project. And turns out I went stupid for a minute, I guess, and got enough for the rear ones, but not enough for front and back. So, at least I can manufacture, fabricate, shape, and clean up the front ones. I just won't be able to attach them until I get back to the hardware store and pick up some more nuts and bolts. Bummer, huh? Anyway, tomorrow's going to be another day, and we will see how far we get. All right. You thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. If you got any ideas, the uh, front's going to be a little difficult because now we don't have straight parallel lines to work with. We have angles just due to the way the frame is shaped. You can see what I'm talking about. See how the frame is narrower in the front and all that. So it's going to make it like the fender's going to have to be wider in the front than it is in the back. I'm thinking I would kind of like it to uh, come back to where it kind of meets up with this. I don't want it sticking way out here, you know what I mean? But anyway. Right. I hope you could see that because uh, the angles of the camera and everything was funny to me, but uh, yeah, 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 this part right here, like that, be like the focal point coming out toward the tire. So anyway, we'll see. Like I said, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later. Be good.